Hey guys, Jake from Evolving Daily. Just got back from a little whitewater rafting trip around Summersville, West Virginia. Didn't lose my sunglasses, but they just don't seem, something seems a little off with them. I uh, don't know. I may have screwed them up a little bit during the trip. Today's been a big busy day. I'm tired. You're not going to get a full video. We're going to get a little snippet of a video. Uh, so, I hadn't been able to in a little while because of workflow, but man sometimes I'm not saying only do it if you've had a bad day or you just can't get out of your own head or you're just sluggish or whatever but man getting out and just dripping sweat like sweating like crazy down to your knees should be soaked it really turned a day around if nothing else it makes you feel awesome afterwards like if you can tell I'm not a runner we always hear people talk about runner's high and I don't think it's really obviously I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I've never ran enough to have runner's high but if you go out and just sweat your tits off drink a shitload of water sweat some more be out of breath for like 45 minutes or for an or 45 minutes or an hour <clears throat> after you get cooled down like not just stop but like slow down get cooled down a little bit drink a bunch more water and then sit down and relax without distractions like don't immediately go to your phone but just sit down and relax and man it's it's um i would compare it to after a big long busy day at work whether your work is physical or not doesn't matter just like man it was a it was a long day and like you open that first beer and take one big mouthful and then like lean back in your chair and relax I would put it along with that feeling like it's I think it's just the the absence of suck like it was sucking for like an hour or more now it doesn't suck and you're just like whoo this is nice might not work for you it works really good for me um, just go out and find a patch of woods and take off walking and going uphill or running or carrying a bunch of heavy weight I recommend carrying at least some weight put a bunch of rocks in a backpack uh, if if you don't have like a workout sandbag like it's a, a popular tr trend now is to buy one of those sandbags and if you don't have that go buy you a like whatever pound bag of dog food for 15 bucks and it's a pretty stout bag like you can't throw it 20 feet onto some rocks or something but you can throw that thing over your shoulder and walk around with it just pick grab grab some amount of weight a little bit of water and just take off until you can't like get to where you're out of breath enough that you can't carry a conversation and do that until your shirt's completely soaked and hopefully some of your shorts it's a pretty dumb video but hey i like it I'm sure other people out there like it. If you do something like that, comment it below. If there's something that's your go-to that's not uh, a drug or alcohol, which is a drug, like if it's not some substance that you put in, if it's just some little, like meditating. Meditating is freaking awesome. There will probably be another video about that in the future. Yeah, this big dumb redneck hillbilly pipeliner, gun guy, prepper, meditates. You should. It's kind of, it's kind of awesome. And it'll help you in a lot of little ways. Yeah, I think that's about all of it. And this video is only four minutes. It's only going to take me like 45 to upload the damn thing. Be prepared to thrive while others survive. And that includes carrying heavy weight out in the woods and being out of breath. You should be better at it than most people. Because it's, I mean, you're a protector. It's kind of what we all are. If we're getting ready for these things. Yeah. See ya.